The year was 1938, and Frank Sinatra was on the brink of stardom. He had worked many regular jobs during the Depression, in the shipyards catching rivets, at Lyons and Carnahan Books, unloading crates, and for the Jersey Observer as a paper boy. But it was the crooning sounds of Russ Columbo and later Out of the darkness, Bing Crosby that caught his attention and ultimately inspired his dreams to become the legendary singer we now know, love, and respect today. The Rustic Cabin, a roadhouse in Anglewood Cliffs, New Jersey. It was here, after his tour on the Major Bose show, that Frank got his start in radio. Chesterfield brings you the WNEW New York broadcast from several nightclubs around the Manhattan metropolitan area. America's number one dance band. Dance Parade was the show. Harold Arden was the band. And Frank Sinatra was the singing waiter. You made me love you. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. You made me want you. And all the times you knew it, I guess you always knew it. You made me happy sometimes. You made me glad. But there were times, baby, you made me feel so bad. This is Tony Della Penta, a pretty 25-year-old from Lodi, New Jersey. She went to the rustic cabin one night, only to discover that she had eyes for the evening's entertainment. Frank, in turn, had eyes for her and any other lady he could smooth talk. Recently released FBI records show, however, that Tony Della Penta would be the first to introduce Frank Sinatra to the dark side of stardom when she would press charges that he... Frank Sinatra, being then and there a single man over the age of 18, under the promise of marriage, did then and there have sexual intercourse with the said complainant, me, who was then and there a single female of good repute for chastity, whereby she became pregnant. She was also married at the time. Separated. Songbird held in Morrill's charge, read the Hudson Dispatch, a Hoboken newspaper. Hoboken, Frank Sinatra's hometown, was a town divided. Irish, Jewish, and Italian immigrants had all settled there and drew their lines. The Great Depression drew them a little deeper. His father, Marty Sinatra, was born in Sicily to a family of grape growers. After moving to America, he worked as a cobbler, then as a prize fighter. Later, he became captain of the Hoboken Fire Department. Frank's mother, Dolly, born Natalie Catherine Caravanti of Genoa, was a powerhouse. She was committee woman for the Democratic Party, a property owner of a bar during Prohibition, and as a midwife, she was arrested for performing illegal abortions. I know what I'm doing. God knows what I'm doing. God wouldn't have given me the idea to do it if he didn't want me to do it. Many of Frank's relatives had experienced brushes with the law, and his troubles with women were just beginning. You made me love you. He was on stage singing. I was nursing my scotch, you know, sucking on a lemon to make it last. He was watching me, but he was getting mad, too. When he was done, he comes over to my table and he goes, Look, young lady, you suck a lemon like that and a guy gets distracted. Well, maybe if I had something better to do than suck lemons, I wouldn't be so distracted. Would you like to dance? You made me cry for I didn't want to tell you I didn't want to tell you I want some love that's true Yes, I do, indeed I do, you know I do So, you seeing anyone? Can I see you next week? He was playing two against the middle with me and Nancy Barbado, but I didn't know it at the time. We went together for a while, but then, because of his mother, he dropped me.
Dolly was a real pain in my ass. Who are you looking for? I'm waiting for Frank. You're after his money. You're nothing but cheap trash from Loda. Frank, you're a bum. You wanna sing. Ha! You bring home bad girlfriends. How can you stand all that yelling? She hollers at me all the time, even when I go walking with my dad. Marty, where you taking Frank? Where you going? Don't make him start drinking beer like you do, you hear me? I want him to be an engineer, not a bum. Frankie, you gotta get a regular job. Maybe your mother's right. Go work down in the shipyards. I know you got this dream and all, but we don't want you to wind up a loser either. He loved his father, Ben. He really did. He used to say to me. Sometimes I wish Ma would just leave my old man alone. Well, why don't you say something to your mother? She's my mother. He loved her, but he didn't, if you know what I mean. Frank. Frank and Tony saw a lot of each other in the summer of 1938, the same summer that Harry James would hear Frank over the radio from the rustic cabin. Frankie, I love you. Don't you think we should get married? Of course we'll get married, babe. <laughs> yeah. When? Hmm? We're just getting started. We gotta give this thing a chance. But I love you. I love you too. Thank you. What's that, baby? Nothing. Listen, I said we would get married, all right? <laughs> 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 I gotta go. Hey, I think it's time we invite your parents over for dinner, Frank. What do you mean I gotta go down there? You really gotta go down there, Ma. Hey, hey, oh, hey, well, Frank. Hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. Hey, Frank. Hey, Frank. Hey, Frank. Hey, Frank. Hey, Frank. Hey, Thanks. Oh, thank you. You look so nice. You got such a nice dress on. Sit, please. Have thank you. Well, I'm going into the kitchen to check on dinner. Let me help you. Oh, oh that's more than he does for me. I'm sorry I had a boy. I should have had a girl. You get what God gives you. Well, how many children did God give you anyway, Mr. Delapenta? Three. Two girls and a boy. <laughs> oh my, that's a big family to support, isn't it? Big, it's a pleasure. I mean, at least you're never alone. If God wanted me to have any more children, I would have had them. You said God, Mom? You haven't gone to church in quite a while. Don't you think these kids are too young to be going around together? I care for your daughter, Mr. Del Penta. It's only puppy love. Ma, I'm a 22-year-old man. Besides, you got married young. Tony's older than that. I don't want these kids to get married. Frank, you gotta graduate school first. I quit school, Ma, you know that. You what? When, when, when did you quit? I thought you were a high school graduate. When did you quit? Now you know. You don't have to hear it over the wire at Ma around, do you? I don't want Tony to go with him. They're too young. She'll keep him from being a big singer. And if he's going to sing, I want him to be a star. Are you against this, too? I've had it. Tony's a fine girl. Just because she has Italian grandparents, you think she's all bad? Your parents didn't like the idea of us going together, but you did it anyway. Why can't Frank and Tony do what they want? Shut your goddamn mouth. Yeah, if someone's not Irish, you don't want me to have anything to do with them. In Hoboken, the Irish have the power. You gotta find yourself a nice Irish girl. Your son came after my daughter. She didn't go after Frank. I don't care who came after who. I don't want them going together anymore. You shouldn't have come. You're making Mr. and Mrs. Delapenta feel bad. Do you want some antipasta? I'm on a diet. Where's the bathroom? Upstairs, your first door on the right. Watch yourself coming down those steps. 
Oh, I can watch myself. Don't you ever worry about that, young lady. Dad, we should go. Go? You just got here, Frank. You can't leave. Well, Ma's on the warpath, and it's only going to get worse. Why don't you stay a little longer? I'll, I'll drive you back. Well, why don't you stay? Because he's coming with me. It's hardly customary to leave before dinner. I'm sorry. Babe, I gotta go. But Frank, you can't go. I, I'm gonna tell them. Tell them what? That we're getting married and... Oh, so now she's gonna tell us that she's knocked up. Oh, don't worry. I can take care of that for you. Come on, Marty. Let's get in the car. I thought we were having macaroni. We're not having nothing here. I'll call you. Tony! She got me so upset, I had a miscarriage. But I pulled myself together, and on December 22nd, 1938, I, Tony Delapenta, had Frank Sinatra arrested on charges of adultery. Let's go, Frank. It took me 14 years to get over Frank. I don't hate him for what he did. I know that he loved me. But he had to do what his mother said. It was really her fault. She ran his life. You made me love you. The charges were proven unfounded and dropped. Shortly thereafter, Frank Sinatra went on to national recognition, singing with the Harry James Orchestra. And all the time you knew it, I guess you always knew it. You made me happy sometimes. You made me glad. But there were times, baby, you made me feel so bad. You made me cry for I didn't want to tell you, I didn't want to tell you. I want some love, that's true. Yes, I do. Indeed I do, you know I do. Give me, give me, give me, give me what I cry for. You know you've got the kind of kisses that I die for. You know you've made.